Ed from Mills military recruits taking courses like jewelry making and dog training had no idea they were paying as much as six times more than civilians for the very same class. Gunsmithing at Penn Foster was normally $708, but the same Penn Foster course through Ed from Mill was more than $4,000. When you found that out, what kind of thoughts went through your mind? I was disgusted that I was helping to recruit the students for so long. Boyce quit and blew the whistle. He's suing Ed for Mill and Caldwell College on behalf of thousands of soldiers and taxpayers who provided millions in military tuition over the past four years. This is where it all happened. You know? Mamie Andrews was academic dean of Everest University in Largo the last time she set foot on campus. But when you're back where it happened, it's like revisiting the pain. Andrews worked for four years for Corinthian College before she quit in late 2011. They sell hope, they sell dreams, and they sell promises. And they don't deliver on any of it. It was all about money. It's never really about the education. The education is just a byproduct. The U.S. Department of Education is forcing Corinthian College, Everest's parent company, to sell its Florida campuses as the department continues to investigate allegations of faulty job placement numbers and inflated grades and attendance. There have been people who've graduated from Everest University who could not read and who could not write. Andrew says recruiters went after anyone who qualified for federal government grants and loans just about anywhere. Tony Cavallin was working as a floral designer at this shop and save when he signed up for a graphic design certificate. He graduated with a nearly perfect grade point average. I was doing floral design and I still am. Same employer? Same employer. Same job? Same job. So all that tuition got you what? Uh, so far, it got me nothing. But EDMC's own records show Cavalleen found a job in his field of study as a designer. It lists Shop and Save as an advertising agency. They definitely did not place me or help me in that respect at all. I could have gotten the job I had with no education. I don't think they should be allowed to blatantly make up information. Jason Sobeck, a former EDMC employee who obtained the jobs data, says in this whistleblower lawsuit that EDMC manipulated job placement numbers to qualify for more taxpayer subsidized student loans. Their business was not about education. It was about making money. It was about getting as much taxpayer money as possible as quickly as possible.